So now in the last video we used a capacitor directly to get an LED to fade on. We closed the switch, it took time for it to get to its full brightness. And then we released the switch, it took time for it to get uh, completely off. So we're going to have that again. So basically it fades on and then fades off. But we're going to improve it with an NPN bipolar junction transistor. So that video we used a capacitor directly. And so it charged up and then current started flowing through the LED. And when we released the uh, switch, it kept uh, powering the LED as it ran out of energy and the LED got less bright. In this circuit, we're using the transistor to take a very small amount of current and allow a lot more current to flow through it. That's why we can use a lower value capacitor instead of 1000 microfarad now we're using 47 microfarad and then just by testing out different value resistors I came up with these two values I like the fade with them when I close the switch the capacitor charges with a 150 kilo ohm resistor so much much less current involved and uh, as the voltage rises to about 0.6 volts current will start flowing through base to emitter now since it's a uh, bipolar junction transistor once a little bit of current flows so let's say one micro amp so one millionth of an amp you're gonna have about uh, probably 200 maybe 300 times as much current flowing through there so maybe uh, two-thirds of a uh, milliamp maybe but uh, in any case exact values don't matter you just uh, do some testing till you get the results you like that's with the 2N3904 and uh, so at some point there'll be enough current flow probably for the LED to turn on completely so I'm not sure that would be called uh, saturation but in case it gets bright enough for what I want and then uh, then you release the switch and then the capacitor still very small amount of current going base to emitter but again as it gets lower sooner or later 200 300 times as much becomes almost nothing so the LED will just kind of keep getting dimmer and dimmer until finally it turns off completely so here on the board, 150 ohm resistor to the top of the switch from the positive supply. Switch is separated top to bottom, but the top going across is always connected, bottom across is always going connected. We have here a 47 microfarad capacitor, which I'm not sure how well it'll show up. There you can see 47 microfarad, even though it's upside down. It's polarized. We have to put the uh, negative side, the side with the dashes, uh, right there. And it's rated for a lot more than 5 volts, 50 volts. And... Uh, how we're going to use this five so bottom of the switch this is always connected here we have the 8.2 kilo ohms 8200 and we have the transistor by the way your body can give a false signal where the LED starts lighting up a little bit as you can see there now we got the uh, base of the mill it's 2N3904 so flat side there we got emitter base collector up there the uh, short lead the cathode if you have not cut them is to the collector the long lead, the anode, is to the resistor there, and it's a 220 ohm resistor. To protect the LED from up to 5 volts, it will do plenty fine to do that. And I will take a look, and uh, this is the fade that we can get with this setup right here. So, very little current is controlling it, so we can use a much smaller value capacitor. Maybe we could even go a lot lower, but uh, in any case, we do have that fade in and out that's for the uh, red LED which uh, was okay in brightness even with the setup here green LED though will be quite a bit brighter as you can see right there so now if you're interested in the voltages I got my pocket oscilloscope there the cable comes out to these alligator clips I clip them to jumpers so the uh, black one that's our zero volt reference point is to ground and uh, the red one I'm going to move the uh, jumper. I can either go right here like I did in the last video or I can go to the same row as the uh, capacitor. And uh, it's kind of wobbly there because I was watching through the camera and it was farther than I thought. So in any case, there we have the uh, connection right there. And the voltage that you see does not depend on the LED like it did last time. That's the base to emitter. It takes about 0.6 volts for that to conduct. So practically no current, if any. Is flowing out of the capacitor through base to emitter right now we can turn the light off see if the LED is glowing at all nope not at all so again uh, we haven't changed anything other than adding the oscilloscope and there you can see the voltage goes up and it stops 
at about a volt because current is flowing through this much lower value resistor right there and there you can see it going down right there since it's a green LED even with extremely low current it uh, still glows a fair amount but we do have that fade there which uh, I think looks even cooler in the uh, dark darker light here so in any case that's uh, really about it we could also look at the uh, voltage across the resistor and the LED to see if we are getting saturation so if we're not getting saturation I'm going to the base the back of uh, the base the middle pin no nope, I want to go up one more collector of the uh, transistor so for saturation since we're dealing with the 5 volt power supply we should get up to 5 volts and uh, we're falling short of that we got about two so we do want to use a little lower uh, resistor there for uh, complete saturation but uh, really that wasn't too bad so we should have got up to 5 volts there for saturation so in any case I cover those topics in other videos and uh, so we're just gonna move on from that right now hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos that I post click like subscribe the bell all that donate to patreon if you can that helps out the most but just watch as many videos as you can helps out a ton so thanks to everybody that does that I'll see you in the next video